Isolation Nation. This is a level. This is how life is supposed to be. This is life in 2020. <laughs> this is SDSC. Welcome to the show. <laughs> the off-kilter experiment that won't stop giving. Very excited to be with you all and more excited than even that, I tell myself every day, to convince myself that I'm going to... God darn it. I'd love to get a whole thought through at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> Please maybe, welcome. Maybe you changed hats again. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey everybody, <laughs> welcome Steve Hofstetter! So, Woo! top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. I am here in a hotel, annoyed that they have as much decaf as regular coffee. Who the fuck drinks that much decaf? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome <laughs> Mr. Chris Bowers. Hey, everybody, I'm excited to be here. Ray, Queen Rachel's here. Queen Rachel. I was not Wait. expecting that quickly, but hello, people. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was the quickest intro ever. Well, I was trying to like get things moving. We got a hard out. We got to get. Hey right. guys, you know, you know how that old saying, uh, "Life is like take, a level." Yeah. Life taketh and then life giveth right back. I think it's when when God uh, closes a window, he opens a door. I think is what you're thinking of. And you're you're thinking of that Leanne Rhymes song about being by the ocean and praying that you could dance. No, I think it's when God has windows, the devil has a Mac. I don't know. It's what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a Dell. Hello. No, what I'm saying is, you know that saying that when you 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 give one and you receive two in return. I'm not sure what saying it is, but it's incredible how how life works out sometimes. You know how I did the very painful thing the other day that I never thought I would do, and I auctioned off a vintage lady. Yes. Literally. Later that day, I or maybe the next morning, I received in the mail. That was dropped off at my door from Mr. Jonathan Sadowski. Three vintage ladies. Cheese heads! Cheese heads? Oh, uh, <laughs> vintage ladies. How <laughs> damn cool is that? Jonathan's the best. You know, Jonathan is the best, and I've got a net positive two vintage ladies. Nice. The same thing out of me. I drank a fifth of whiskey last night. This morning, when I was throwing it up. More whiskey. It was great. All right. Uh, we did not have an overnight game. Steve, what's today's game? Uh, well, you know, it's Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful that we moved on from that last thing. So, today's game uh, has to do with Thanksgiving. We are thanksgiving -ing, thanksgiving -ing -ing -ing? Let's <laughs> It's thanksgiving gang is the word. We're thanksgiving gang bang a song. Yep. So, <laughs> take the name of a song and make it about Thanksgiving. Uh, so, like, uh, Turkey Largo, or I Want to Hold Your Ham, or the Bee Gees classic, Slaying a Pie. Anyway, take any song, make it about Thanksgiving, and what you do is you can comment on any of our feeds, our Twitch, our Twitter, our YouTube, or our Facebook, but if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show, and if you want yours to have a much better chance of being read live on air, do it with at least a $5 tip. Super Chat, Venmo, PayPal, any of those, throw it in there, Thanksgiving a song. I just have one, I just have one important question here. What song is Key Largo? That's the song? Ben. Yes. yes. What? What about what about the song? Uh, it's a, it's a song, song called Key Largo. Called Key Largo, Montego. The song is called Kokomo. Oh, it's called yeah, Kokomo. That's, a different, that's a different one. There is oh. a song called Key Largo. I know because I looked it up. Because I looked up a song oh. with key in the name. What, the what about I will do anything for love, but I won't do that by Turkey? Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good entry. That's All right. That's a Accepted. solid one. Cool. All right. Well, Ben, uh, I, I have a question for Ben though real quick in the in the chat in the group chat that we had before um some of the examples so uh rachel had two examples can you read them to us i i had pumpkin pie by the ocean right yeah. what song is that cake by the ocean by the you don't ocean. know that song so ben cake? replied and is said i don't know these songs and the other one was was uh, was what? fat bottom girls because we ate three helpings and you don't know the song fat bottom uh, girls what song is that it's queen Fat bottom girls make the rockin' world go round. It's a song. Remember? You don't know that song? Am I on punk right now? No, I think maybe. Then are you okay today? I'm genuinely. <laughs> I get the first one, but Queen, you're gonna you're gonna mess up Queen. 
Fat Bottom Girls is a song by Queen and not by Nelly? (laughs) He did a cover. Yeah, Nelly also did Fat Bottom Girls. Um, Ben, are you and the Vintage Ladies all right? I doubt it. (laughs) All right. Ben apparently does not know songs. He just committed suicide. (laughs) Just either that or, or dove into a pool. Yeah, by the way, the weirdest part about not knowing those songs is they're from very different eras. Like, it's not like, oh, you've got a blind spot in the 1970s. Take by the Ocean? One of the most popular songs of the last yeah. couple of years. All How does it go? Years. How does it go? Talk to me, baby. I can't sing, but... Yeah. Yeah. Da-da-da-da, talk to me, baby. Cake by the Ocean, Ben is stupid. You've never heard this song? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bowers coming out firing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good thing. you know well, let's, let's keep going well let's, let's get let's, ben, before ben enters yeah. the audience i'm going to give him a second to, to not cry uh but uh if, if you are the the pins are about to go out we've we've got this the mailers we're ready to do that for the uh the pin level and above of the patreon if you could do me a favor and go on the patreon app and verify your address because that's the address we're sending it to so if you change your address from when you signed up for the patreon four months ago make sure you give us the correct address because that's in patreon we're going to use those addresses so just uh, make sure it's updated and uh ben, yeah like was... if you moved say there was like a budget chicken trying to kill you and you had to move yes. you know so <laughs> yeah. or you're trying to get away from your ex-boyfriend and then you move too yeah <laughs> whoa Oh, she's finally admitting it. She's finally admitting it. Uh, I've got pictures. I don't admit nothing. <laughs> you do not have pictures. Oh, I do have pictures. <laughs> my, my buddy one time broke up with a girl because he would not. He refused to call her his girlfriend. Like that whole talk, what are we? He's like, oh, we're just dating, whatever. And then the minute they broke up, he started calling her his ex-girlfriend. And I'm like, you were a monster. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely horrific. Be like, you know, my ex person I was seeing casually. Like, yeah, exactly. He's like, me and my ex girlfriend. I'm like, oh, now she's a girlfriend, Dick. Okay, I see how this works. Didn't you feel yeah. this? <laughs> about this? Uh, let's introduce the front row. There is- Sounds like a planned video front row. Please turn on your cameras. Brighten up the show with some good looking people for a change. We got Tam Brown, Ben, right now. Oh, my God. I got to highlight this. I can't see it. Here we go. And right now, it's what the fuck me that you're blocking it, Tam. Me that yes it off me the the what and the horse. Fuck, fuck me. Fuck yes. Fuck off. Fuck that. Fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck the man. Fucking die and fuck the horse you rode in on. Those are all the different fucks you can. <laughs> but the way Ben read it was exactly how he introed the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fuck. <laughs> and it's been 15 minutes since we talked about. We're not going to talk about it. All right, let's not break this. We're not going to talk about the whole show today. We're not going to talk about it the entire show. Well, okay. I don't think that's going to happen. I we've got, the we've got Chris La... Oh, I see what you're trying to do. we got Chris LaBells. <laughs> Bells. We've got Zara Bending joining us from Australia. We've got Sean Ehrlich from the couch set. We've got Jessica Keibel cooking up a batch of something probably with marijuana in it. we got... <laughs> Becca Lynn joining us. Hello, Becca. We've got Vintage Lady. <laughs> Eble. Oh my God, I love that. We have got uh, Vintage by Design Rob. Hello, Rob. We've got Bill Thompson. He found his sleeves. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> must, got a, must have got cold finally. <laughs> We've got Jen Winkleplex joining us from the Winkleplex. We've got Snack Lover Soup 2. We've got Frank Nataro wearing the Hofstetter away uniform. We got Shannon Burke <laughs> with the monkeys in the background. My favorite group I grew up with until my father crushed my dreams and said, that's not a real group. And I said, they are a real group. They play songs. <laughs> we've got... We've got <laughs> We've got Courtney Thorne-Smith, who played Heather Locklear on Melrose Place. (laughs) We are being joined by Jan Skittles-Johnson, and we've got Gus joining us from the set of Bob's Burgers. Thank you all for being here. It's going to be good. We're already underway, and it's already great. It's going to be a great show. We've got two of our favorite comics are here. Kristen Key is back, ladies and gentlemen. Kristen, how you doing? Hey, happy Movember, everybody. 
I don't know what it is, but I support the prostate. Let's do this. Can I just say, I feel a little bit attacked right now. Oh, just wait. Oh, it's going to be a long show for you. Well, guys, I got to go. It's been fun. Thank you so much. How much Super Mario does have to play to get that mustache? They send that in the mail if you if you save the princess. Is that how that works? Yeah, I stepped on a lot of turtles for this. <laughs> we also, have Paul Varghese is back. Paul, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Paul? Hey, I will say of uh, of all the people to have a not have a mustache, I never figured it would be the brown guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an eight mile sign behind you? Do you steal eight mile road? Yeah, it totally is. It's, we're, we're trying to look a uh, hood up here in Dallas. This is about as nice. evil as we get. One of my favorite moments, I, we were speaking at a school in Livonia, Michigan, which is really nice outside of Detroit. It's like in a really high, uh, high fluting suburb. And we were staying at a Hampton Inn on eight mile road. And my buddy Ryan, as we pulled in the parking lot, he goes, man, that m and is full of shit. This place is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's different eight mile, bro. Different eight mile. Yeah. Yeah, same street, just much further down. Yeah, much further, <laughs> away. much further away. Uh, Rachel, we anything to catch up on before we get rolling here? I think I think you know Rachel's got stuff for us to catch up on. Why don't you just ask her and let her do it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. I feel so attacked. <laughs> By a turtle. <laughs> I will. How dare you? Sorry, sorry. I'm culturally appropriating your mustache. I mean, the prostates that had to suffer for me to get this mustache on my face today. Ben <laughs> prostrates himself every day on his Instagram. Ben, this means Wario. <laughs> Steve, when I'm done with you, you're going to go boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Rachel, what do we got? All right. So I do want to say that before the show started, uh, there was a tip that had come in. And I said to the guys, I'm like, oh, the tip came in. I think it's in Mandarin. And Steve had already seen it. He's like, it's Hebrew. <laughs> it's just a bunch of squiggly lines, but I'm going to guess. So I think Steve probably knows what it is. I'm just going to guess it says Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, no, as it turns out, Thanksgiving is not a Jewish holiday. We don't really have a word for it. Um, <laughs> Don't give a lot of, the Jews don't give a lot of thanks, Steve. Is that what you're saying? You're not very no, we, we have guilt receiving. It's a... <laughs> right, I'm curious, without knowing what it is, just knowing that someone tipped us a couple bucks and said to, to us something in Hebrew, I'm curious, comics and other hosts, guess what it meant without even seeing it. Guess what it meant. See if you can get closer than Rachel. You won't even know what it means if you see it. I, I can read Hebrew, so I, I could know what it means. Read it? Yes. But can you, yeah, that's Hap, true. Happy Movember. Yes, that's exactly what it. No, what a. <laughs> I think it said. Uh, it said. Uh, fucking. Fu I don't know. We missed Trump. I don't know. <laughs> you guys are great at this improv game. You guys are really great at yes and. Well, how oh, okay. Wait, I'm guess? reading it now. It says. Saying, guess, a... guess what? Someone might have said to us. You can guess. Anything. No, I'm reading it. I read. I read right. here. It says. Did you hear that, Carmel? <laughs> <laughs> I can try to read that. Actually, that I think that says. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Nope. So it says oh, yeah. sh 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 Shabbat Yar nope. Yarar. Oh, oh, oh! It says it, no. I, I get it. It says if you can read this, you're missing the tip of your penis. And we're back. <laughs> hey. Hey. It, says, it means be safe. That's what it means. Shabbat Shabbat Yar Yar Yarar. Yeah, making wrong, wrong. sounds, but they're not the ones on the screen. Either way, it means be safe. Thank you for saying. So. What does it say in Hebrew? Huh. Steve, if you're some Hebrew genius, uh, it says uh, Shomre al uh, Atzmar. Oh What's shit! You're better reading Hebrew than I am, and I'm half Israeli. God damn. <laughs> What's it mean? It means be safe. safe. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, we also. <laughs> Uh, Z Bunster tipped the show and said, oh, a happy day before Alice's restaurant massacre. Thanks to <laughs> yes. our, Rachel, Taylor, Ben, especially Ben, for making at least part of 2020 terrific. Thankful for you and SDSC. Thanks, Buns. Thank you very much, Buns. Thanks. Uh, and then Rita O'Donnell says, looking forward to another great show. So I hope we don't let you down. Excellent. Well, we will have one Friday. 
<laughs> I don't think we can let him down on this one. I have to quickly thank I have to quickly thank Bunster for making my 2020 better. I received this in the mail from Bunster a couple of days ago. It says Ben's December prop and handy organizer. Look, I started one for you, and if you open it up, she's already done my first to do list. It 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 must be done. Number one, be on time for sound check. Number two, moose be there for sound check. Number three. Make Taylor's day. Make sound check on time. <laughs> Number four, make the news. Be on time for sound check. Five, stun Rachel. Be on time for sound check. Six, amaze Bowers. Be here for sound check. And number seven, make Steve speechless. Be on time for sound check. That is one of hey. None of them have been crossed off the to-do list yet. Well, let me be honest with you. I was here today practically on time, just one minute late. And once again, real snooze fest. <laughs> That's not true. You predicted my power going out. Yeah, yeah. You said we're about the power is about to go out in L.A. And then the power went out in Virginia, like as if you transferred it to Taylor somehow. It was pretty impressive. I this forgot time. that. That was actually really fun. You're right. Yeah, Santa was eventful today. But, uh, you know, are we, are we, that, but that's, we're caught up. Put that on your fridge, please, uh, please Ben. Are we caught up? Because let's do yeah. it right now. Come to the stage, our favorite, Kristen Key. Let's go. Hey, everybody. It's so good to be back. Happy Movember, everybody. This is glued on, so it's going to be here the whole show. Um, <laughs> last time I was on, thank you so much, everybody that tipped. I got so many tips because I set a number and people tipped that amount. And I don't think, I mean, I don't think it'll work again this time. I think maybe there's like a 10% chance it'll work again. Um, <laughs> Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Scale of one to 10. I, I know if you notice the number is less this time than it was last time, because every time I do this show, my self-worth goes down just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw, uh, I peeked in the other day and saw that Steve had grown this, this, this mustache for, for Movember. And, um, it inspired me. This is an ode to Steve's mustache. <laughs> when a man grows facial hair. It can be handsome, debonair. It can make a plain face look more distinguished. Ooh. It's a turn on for some ladies. It can make an ugly man cute. Mustaches on some men look great, but Steve, that man's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something shit on your upper lip. Like a ginger caterpillar crawled up on your face and quit. It looks like a stain, like you blew an orangutan. Oh my God. Mustaches on some men look great, but Steve, that man's not you. <laughs> and it's worse if you smile. <laughs> then you look like a pedophile. Everybody, it looks like something shit on your upper lip. Like a ginger caterpillar crawled up on your face and quit. It looks like a stain, like you blew an orangutan. Mustaches look so good on some men, but Steve, that man's not you. So true. So that's what I've been working on. I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid. I wanted to tell you before I leave, before I leave, Steve, actually, I'm very thankful for you this year. In fact, I wrote up my, my list of gratitudes and you're on it. You're number one. The first thing I'm thankful for this year is Steve and everybody at SDSC that lets me come back on week, you know, time and time after um, number two. I have 10 things that I'm thankful for. Um, two, so one is Steve and number two is big old boobies. And um, <laughs> so th that's all. That's that's all I got on my list. Um, <laughs> here's my problem, though. Like big old boobies are one of my favorite things, but people that have them, they're always complaining about them. So, what are we gonna do with those big old boobies? Well, girls with big old boobies, you know what they say. They say my big old boobies are always getting in the way. Well, what are we gonna do with those big old boobies? Well, big old booby ladies always complain. They say my shirts don't fit, they bounce all over the place. Well, I hear you girls, but those are my, two of my favorite things. <laughs> so what are we gonna do with those big old boobies? Let's ask the boobies, hear what they say. 
Booby one said booby two. Booby two said booby one. What are we gonna do with those big old boobies? Well, you can put them in a bra, one cup or two, or a sports bra. You get a uniboob, or you can show them off in a low cut shirt if you can wear it. Or let him hang free, swing low, sweet chariot. Talk to the boobies again. Booby one said booby two. Booby two said booby one. What are we gonna do with those big old boobies? Thank you so much. I'm thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Kristen Key, everybody. If you want to tip Kristen, you can do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on YouTube. Kristen, I appreciate you did a song about boobies <laughs> and an asshole. I appreciate that. <laughs> My pleasure. My pleasure. You are a boob and an asshole. Oh. Also, I got to say, uh, it is definitely a compliment to be number one on your gratitude list when number two is big old boobies. I think that's pretty, that's... That was it. I mean... If I'm going <laughs> to headline a list, it? that's a hell of a list to headline. That's, uh... I couldn't I couldn't think anything else because I was so grateful for the big old boobies. <laughs> I, I love how the boobies had different registers and they were they're, they're different hit different higher... The, the boobie two seemed to hit higher notes than boobie one. Is that, are they One's different always sizes? bigger than the other. Yeah, is that that's the thing? Right. <laughs> One has a higher range, yeah, but don't talk about. It. They don't like to be compared. I mean, honestly, that was the best song I've ever heard. <laughs> the mustache looks bad on you, song. I mean, some truths are so apparent they inspire art. Can I be honest? And this time, the art made clear how bad Steve's mustache looks. Are you? I was right deeply now? inspired to write that. <laughs> I was you, really you hoping know, Steve would make to his hotel in El Paso so he could hear that song. Because she told me she had a song about you. I'm like, oh, I hope he makes it. So I'm glad you're here, Steve, so you could get that abuse. That was nice. Oh, if you weren't here, it'd just be weird to sing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish I wasn't just to see if you would still have done it. Oh, I w for sure oh. would have done it. <laughs> I would have done it harder. <laughs> anyway, just remember, everybody, as Kristen has asked, tip her $1 a piece. That's $1. <laughs> Did oh, I feel like I missed somewhere. <laughs> Rachel, what we got coming in? Oh, my God. Uh, so we did have a tip. Let's see. Gus Walsh tipped you $11. What? Way to not follow instructions in a good way. <laughs> Uh, Technics uh, start out with two Canadian. First words I heard on joining was shit on your lip. <laughs> <laughs> you came in at the right time. Uh, Dizzy by nature, five bucks for Kristen. I sang along and my girlfriend now thinks I'm insane. I forgot I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dana, 10 bucks. Kristen, I must ask you how the hell you keep writing these wonderful songs. Thank you for you. I'm inspired by really shitty mustaches. <laughs> well, well, thankfully, we got a lot on the show. Um, we had, let's see, John Dugan, 10 bucks. Kristen, amazing performance, mustache song, booby song, 10 out of 10. Aw, uh, thanks. Thanks for all the 10s, too. How do you, Steve, how do you keep your mustache from getting itchy? Um, well, mine's not glued on. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, when you do grow a beard, the first like month, it's really, really itchy. And then eventually your face just get used, gets used to it or something. I don't know. But it was when it grows in, it's real itchy. After a while, it, it, it goes away. Yeah, I like will, if you I shave your say, crotch. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is a little bit uh, it is a little bit weird to me when people who don't have facial hair complain about <clears throat> the masks being itchy because they're so much worse if you have facial hair. Like there's so like every time every time I shave my beard like the mask feels better, so it's I'm I'm just saying it feels better without the cover. You know what? I've gone too far. Go ahead. But have you ever shaved your crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me laugh when guys with pubes bitch about not having enough. <laughs> Bottoms feel weird. Try it without pubes, dude. It's fucking better. I'm I don't know. If Powers you... got the joke, and then everyone else was just singing the mustache song in their head. I don't. I don't know if you've seen what what my Twitter name currently is, but we haven't. Oh, total manscaping. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> nice. <laughs> is that a lie? 
That's a lie, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> in, in fact, quite the opposite. TMI. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, I've seen what your hair looks like every day. I can't imagine your pubes are all on point, is all my point. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be hilarious if he was perfectly shaven, except his hair was all over the yeah, place? His hair's all fucked up, but his pubes are cropped perfectly every day. Like he's got the, oh, yeah. damn. the sign is at zero. Put the sign at zero. I have Mickey Mouse down there. Yeah, I, said, uh, I said penis earlier, so. Yeah, I said penis to begin with. That was how this all started. Yeah, I already reset it. I already reset right. the timer. Fair. <laughs> how long has that been going? Now, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, Brandon, what do we got? All right, we've got like 20 more to get through. So, uh, right. Ben Glebe tipped Kristen 10 bucks. And said, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Because last time he was asking me for money on Venmo. <laughs> 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 I seriously I opened Venmo. I had a request from Ben. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Um, ben said, for the best song I've ever heard, uh, the Steve Mustache looks bad on you song. Because some truths are so apparent. They inspire art. This time, the art made clear how bad Steve's mustache looks. <laughs> uh, Guillermo, 20 euro. Kristen, I think you said a number, but I got distracted by your mustache. <laughs> yeah, that's the mustache's job. By the way, Kristen, if seriously, if somebody requested money f from you with my name, that's a fake account. Oh, why would I have requested money from you? That's weird. For real. <laughs> that's somebody impersonating. Uh, Kristen, I, I requested some. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. And I think Chris's mustache looks like Guillermo's mustache, doesn't it? Does that just mean? Yeah. It does. Pretty close. He has the curled oh, up mustache. That's true. Just... The... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool yeah, I, I want to do a who wears it best between me and Steve because I picked I have like four mustaches and this is the one I chose today because I wanted to make sure my mustache looked better than his mustache. I think anyone you would have picked would have worked, but I get your point. Yeah, yeah there's really not that high of a bar right now when it comes to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also had, let's see what else. Let me scroll to the top. So Rob Lovick in our live audience, uh, front row, tipped you $80. What? Ooh, Rob, I think I owe you some sex. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that prostate. Let's get to work. I don't know how to do this with a man. Okay. <laughs> he said. Lesbian oh. sex and sex with lesbian are very different things, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, he said it was because it was like that board that you had behind you. That's what that board added up to. He said, Steve, oh, absolutely I, the hardest I laughed in a long time. Oh, my God. I need to put more frames on next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's right. Cindy Wood, $10.10. And uh, Kira Thanks, Stein, uh, 10 bucks for the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Hey, Kira. Yeah, they're coming in any day now. <laughs> Natalie Smith, ten bucks for Kristen. I love boobies. Yeah, yeah, you do. Everybody does. By the way, if you want to tip Kristen one Alf or Baby Yoda, that is recommended <gasps> from behind her. If you want to... I got Alf. I got Baby Yoda. That's my space theme. Willie There's Stan Lee. There's Captain Marvel. <laughs> I also just love the math skills. It's a really impressive way to tip, uh, Rob. I really think that's amazing. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> really great stuff. Um, nice. There's also Courtney Smith. Uh, ten bucks from her and ten bucks from Diana. So twenty bucks. Thanks, Courtney and Diana. Uh, Kim Stewart, ten bucks. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Happy Thanksgiving. And I bet you come to the show every day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeremy Day, ten bucks. He said, "We love you, Kristen." He's Jeremy. I don't know why I'm like. I can see you. Hi. Then we have. Let's see. Zara, ten Aussie. Grateful for you, Kristen. Thanks for the memories. Ah, uh, right back at you. <laughs> memories. <laughs> Level. And then Tam Brown, ten bucks. I'm thankful for the gift of you and your amazing songs. I'm fairly certain though that I'm gonna have nightmares about my boobs talking to each other. They do all night. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is better than Steve's mustache. I could be wrong, but I. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Matthew Plummer, 10 bucks. Kristen, the mustache works on you. You should grow a real one. I've been trying to for 40 years, and uh, <laughs> it, I'm having a, it's spotty. Let's just say it's spotty. I mean, Kristen did have a beard all through college, but that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. That was, that, was that was really good. That was really Bravo, Chris. Oh, no. Bravo. Oh, ben, you took the filter off. You looked like a young Monopoly man. <laughs> It looked like the Monopoly man when he was still running the company. What <laughs> did Bowers have on his mouth? Was it this? Yeah. No, oh, I, I, I <laughs> cut a red wig. I cut a piece of red wig off and scotch taped it to my face. Oh. <laughs> Same. Same. What about the next time you want to wear that wig? Why? Well, it still has more wig parts. It's fine. Oh, busted ass I wig. Cut it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't criticize a man with with wig parts glued to his face right now. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, I'm super glad that I woke up at 4:45 in the morning to make sure that I got to my hotel in time to do the show. I got. <laughs> drove eight and a half hours through the fucking Texas desert. I'm really glad I did. I'm so glad. Every time I text Steve when I'm about to go to bed at around 6 a.m., I'm certain he's gonna be sound asleep, and he's like, blah, 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 blah. instant reply. Wow. It's wild. I bet that, that mustache is going over real well in, in South Texas, though. Like, have you, have yeah, you, met, I, have you I, met a male lover yet? I'm the governor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the governor. <laughs> governor Handlebar. He got a job at the Alamo two days ago. It's great. <laughs> That's the first time people encourage you to forget the Alamo. <laughs> Rachel, yes. Thanks. You look more like Mario than any of us. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. That was a, that was a, that was a, that's called a neg. I think she's on you. <laughs> Last episode was about a rash, and then today you're insulting me. <laughs> no, you look like Super Mario's, um, like a, like his son who's going through a phase. <laughs> 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 You know, yeah, Mario yeah. Jr. Mario Jr. Why don't you date a girl? It's like a regular boy. <laughs> I, I like the idea. Don't like, want to Dad, princess, I don't... Dad. Jeez. I don't want to be a plumber. All right. I don't want your life. He looks like Mario's son that's trying to cash in on the family business by doing porn oh. as a plumber. <laughs> I like that Zara said she looks like Super Mario. Ten out of ten would Super Smash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So Dini, uh, Dina tipped you ten Canadian. Every time you're on the show, I hurt myself laughing. Love you bunches. Oh, I love hurting women. <laughs> <laughs> emotionally, you mean emotionally? My pleasure. Or anyway, this is great. With this mustache, I can do anything. Ah. I feel like a wife beater right now. Christine, actually, sometimes on a show, a lesbian come and take a liberties with jokes a, a, a white hey. cis male cannot oh. make. <laughs> I don't know. Christine, put on a mustache. I just turned into a dick. Uh, Kristen, <laughs> actually, between the mustache and the joke about domestic violence, you have just been elected governor of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you've got to disband the Public Integrity Office, and you've got a full-on Rick Perry for the block. <laughs> well, the audience, we're all dumb. We don't get that one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when Rick Perry was governor of Texas, he disbanded the Public Integrity Office and did a whole press conference about how proud of it he was. Then he was arrested, I think, like a month later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rachel, what else we got? All right, we got like 10 more to catch up on. Uh, Renee Hutchison, 10 bucks. Uh, Kristen, you bring me so much joy. Never change. Aww. Lilith. Oh, wait, sorry, the end of the history lesson, sorry, Rachel, is that we rested a month later, then went on Dancing with the Stars, and then was appointed Energy Secretary in the Trump administration, just to be clear. Ah. Uh, cool. Should I keep going? Yeah. Yes. No, no, I want more Rick Perry facts. <laughs> um, Wasn't Lilith. he the lead also singer for Journey? Smith. He's an Aerosmith. <laughs> yes, yes, he was. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was yeah. before he was a governor of Texas, but yeah. Bowers, your mustache is hanging on by a thread, just like. <laughs> what? <laughs> this show. <laughs> oh, shit. This is the first show in history to jump the shark multiple times and keep on going. <laughs> All 
All right. Uh, we also had Lilith that tipped you $33.33 and said to Kristen for a boobies jingle. Ah, oh, thanks. What a fun number. I love it when boobies jingle. It's usually when they've got rings in them. <laughs> and I write a song about bouncing titties and I get asked to leave the bar mitzvah. <laughs> My my next song is going to be what white cis males can't do that lesbians can. <laughs> Please a woman. <laughs> Hear that Carmel? <laughs> oh, she heard it. Nobody's laughing harder than my wife right now. <laughs> you ever say she heard that? <laughs> By the way, you guys, fuck it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you, you just got to dive in. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not bad. Right. Not bad. That was real cheese. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so Frankie Nataro, 10 bucks. Awesome. Hey, Frankie. Set. Thanks. Uh, Ingo, 12 bucks. Kristen Flanders motorboating killed me. <laughs> Uh, 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 idly hodily <laughs> um, Idy -ho, neighbor other neighbor no, <laughs> neighborino marianne white 10 bucks five dollars for each song nice or, or each boob is what i like to think <laughs> ah. uh dizzy by nature two bucks Kristen, how good are quaker oats for digestion what a great question um, it's because you're in the mustache club. Oh, okay. Great. Look great. You have diabetes yeah. is what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Shannon Savage, 10 bucks. Kristen, that was the breast. <laughs> you sleep down there? Big old booby pun. Uh, Carl, seven pounds and 47 cents. hundred percent the best facial hair on the show today. Thank you very much. I think I like to say I have the best facial hair in this areola. <laughs> I had to get a booby pun back in there. I was like, there's got to be another one. Kristen, I give that, I give that pun a, a D, maybe two. <laughs> Steve's just, Steve's just mad that I was giving him lumps earlier. Yeah, I think it fell flat. First. That, that pun was the tits. It was. <laughs> it was the breast. Uh, we also had Gary uh, Fraser, five bucks. Yay, Kristen, new ringtones. This would have been $10, but I had already hit send. Sorry, dog. Happy Turkey Day. Uh, <laughs> Technics, uh, three more Canadian because of throw me, at, throw me that prostate. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get down. Yeah. Uh, Lindsey Brown, 10 bucks. The Steve Mustache song has me deceased. Great job and happy Thanksgiving. Bravo. <laughs> Uh, Thanks. Uh, we had some generals. Uh, Gregory asked, where do I buy cigars right before Thanksgiving? I'm trying to have a two to three hour outdoor break from my family this holiday. I would guess at a cigar store. Google, <laughs> Google sir. That's good, Steve. That is good. Any Neil Nogan will have the thing you can make blunts out of. Just go there. <laughs> Uh, you know how many times I've Googled, I've, I've texted Steve a question. And he says, have you tried Google? I'm like, good tip, sir. <laughs> if you really want an excuse to get out of the house and you're out of cigars, just go to Mexico. <laughs> Actually, for me, that's like 10 minutes from here. So. <laughs> Steve, you, you're, you're teasing this so much, you're going to have to do the show Friday from Mexico. That's all right. I'm in. Ooh, Perfect. Yeah. In go Spanish. To, go, to, go to Tijuana for uh, Thanksgiving. That'll be fun, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, we also had, let's see, Tam tipped the show and said, uh, for a general, I'm enjoying Rachel's name being misspelled on the Facebook stream way too much. It's Racehole. Racehole? Racehole. All right. Not touching that one. Uh, Keep nope. going. <laughs> Uh, we also had Matthew Plummer tip the show. Ben, did someone text Rick Perry to 484848? <laughs> uh, Technics tip the show. Shout out to Jan Angles Johnson. Go Skittles, go. Nice. <laughs> She's pulling a Frankie. <laughs> and then two more tips for Kristen. We had Eliza Baker, 20 bucks, uh, for making my boobs feel loved, $10 from each. 
<laughs> Aw, thanks. Your boobs are loved by everybody. <laughs> And then I sent in a Venmo for 10 bucks and said, 10 out of 10 would recommend, please keep coming back to the show. Awesome. I love you guys. I'm really thankful for this show for, for sure. Like big time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're thankful for you, Chris. We appreciate you coming back. Are we caught up, Rich? We're caught up. All uh, right, let's get to the next comic then. We're going to write to our second champion of the day. I love when we have two heavy hitters on a show. It's Paul Varghese, everybody. Woo! Woo! What's up, guys? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Everybody's good? You sound good, you look good. I uh, just came back from Oklahoma City on Sunday, saw the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. I see an abandoned warehouse, broken down, boarded up windows. It looks haunted. And in white paint smeared on the wall, it said, beware of. Like you didn't even have a chance to finish the sign. <laughs> so I'm unloading my stuff out of my, my uh, car into the hotel in, in OKC and a Trump train drives by. If you don't know what a Trump train is, it's a bunch of trucks honking. They have the flags out. And uh, I've, honestly, I felt flattered. I've never been catcalled in my life. <laughs> uh, actually bent over a little bit and showed them a little brown just to tease them. <laughs> But I was there on the weekend. This past Saturday was uh, a thing called Bedlam, which is Oklahoma State versus OU. Uh, that's their big rivalry. Now, I didn't know it was called Bedlam. All I have is the owner coming up to me saying, hey, ticket sales might be low because tonight there's going to be some Bedlam. <laughs> I reply, that's good because I hate pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, if I get a hint of a rumpus or a fracas, uh, I tend to skedaddle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before the hullabaloo turns topsy turvy. You know. That's <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm there, and I meet my Indian friend down there. My Indian friend there is like the darkest Indian person I've ever met. He's actually darker than black people, but he doesn't believe that black lives matter. That's what he told me. But you like you're he's like the blackest life I've ever. <laughs> Like he's not midnight black. He's like 1:45 a.m. He's like, oh my God. He's last call black. That's what I call him. <laughs> but he believes all lives matter, and all lives. Have you been to the DMV? <laughs> last time I went, to, the last time I went to the DMV, the lady asked for my birth certificate, and I had to break it to her that I am my birth certificate. I'm right here. <laughs> he goes, I need proof you were born. Well, I can bring my mom. Do you want to see her C-section scar? <laughs> he goes, no, I need proof you were born here in the United States. So you think I'm faking this accent? <laughs> you, think, you think I'm sitting in the parking lot trying to hype myself up? Okay, we are about to go into the DMV. <laughs> We need to make sure we sound completely 100% Texan. Okay, so <laughs> say it with me. I'm here to uh, renew my license. Okay, you panicked, you panicked. <laughs> <laughs> so I drive an hour out of my way to go get my birth certificate. There I am, me, eight other brown guys, <laughs> and Obama just standing there, you know. <laughs> I'm like, how long you been here? 12 years. I'm like, oh shit, it's gonna be a while. So <laughs> I get to the front of the line and she tells me the birth certificate machine is broken. Like birth certificate, you mean the printer? <laughs> <laughs> or are you low on parchment? <laughs> <laughs> the, the dude with the feather pen, does he have typhoid? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I drive an hour back to the DMV. I'm like, what are the odds of me getting the exact same lady? What are the odds? So I get the number, I go up, it's the exact same lady. She goes, how can I help you? I'm like, really, it's been two hours. How many brown men have you sent in the last two hours to go get their birth certificates that you don't remember me? I'll tell you how many. So many that you broke the printer. That's how many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not saying it's racist. I'm just saying it feels racist, okay? I'll, uh, I'll give you an example. I was in New Hampshire one time. I got pulled over by a cop. He didn't tell me why he pulled me over, didn't tell me his name. He looks at my license, he goes, you're not from here, are you? Okay, so now I don't speak cop, but I do speak redneck, okay? <laughs> and 
Whenever anyone says you're not from here, are you? It's never followed by a list of local tourist attractions. <laughs> <laughs> it's never you're not here for, you're not from here are you have you checked out Mary Gold Mondays at the Arboretum that doesn't happen <laughs> <laughs> then he asked me if I was born in a hospital right? I told him yeah I mean I, I mean I think so I mean I was there but I wasn't there you know? <laughs> so then he goes which hospital I'm like well I would know if I had my fucking birth certificate that's what I <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not saying it's racist. I'm just saying it feels racist. Okay, I'll explain racism real quick. <laughs> um, racism is like, you know, if, you're, if you ever order enchiladas without onions, and right before they bring them out of the kitchen, they forgot that you order without onions, so they scrape the onions off into the trash can, then they bring it out to you. Now, you can smell onions, and you can taste them, but you can't actually see and prove that they're there. That's what racism feels like. <laughs> <laughs> And I say that because I'm, I'm kind of a racism sommelier. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if somebody yells out, sand monkey, I'm like, oh, that's like a September 2001. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, geez, everybody. Geez. <laughs> Tip jar is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal uh, at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. Throw Paul in a couple of bucks so we can get some toner for the DMV. That would be great. And uh, by the way, Paul, my favorite thing about, and I've seen a couple of these on this trip now. I've seen some of these Trump trains. And my favorite thing about them is they don't know what the word train means. <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 a it's a caravan. The very thing they were afraid of. The very You're thing. all fucking one girl in the back of the first pickup truck. That's not you're, you're not seeing that. <laughs> you don't see the first oh, truck. By the way, I saw the most Texas thing I've ever seen today. I saw a guy uh, pull up to a gas station uh, pulling a trailer of three hay bales, and in the pickup truck, there are just two dogs, just, that's how they ride, just in the pickup truck, and he got out with a cowboy hat and cowboy boots, and I'm like, holy fuck, this guy is pr trying out for a brochure. Like, I don't know, like, this is the most Texas thing I've ever seen. Do you feel like you blend in with the mustache? Yeah, yeah, it helps. But I'm wearing a mask, so I really can they not see the mustache, but I respect science, so I don't blend in at all. Have you thought about drawing the mustache on the mask, Steve, so that when you're in Texas, you just, no matter, if you got it on or off, you still look good? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> absolutely. I still look uh, good enough for Kristen to write a song about. Paul, yeah. that, that, that act, was, that performance was so funny. Uh, I would love to see that material delivered by you wearing a fake mustache and playing a string instrument. That would be incredible. <laughs> uh, I, had, I had the mullet and the hat. I'm halfway there. <laughs> yeah, by the I, way, I, did you, so you haven't changed since you came back from Oklahoma City? Like, is that the uniform? No, no. Dude, I was actually wearing this on, on Saturday when we came in. So you would think that I would have blended in, but. Yeah, I would assume you wear that in Oklahoma City and they're just like, man, that guy's tan. <laughs> <laughs> they think I want to play the Thunder. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm the I'm the I'm the one black player left for the Thunder. I think they traded him. <laughs> <all the way. laughs> Rachel, what do we got? All right. So we have Stephen Burke's five pounds for Paul. Have a fiver. That would have been a tenor, but I didn't hear any booby songs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Technics to Canadian Paul before the hubaloo, hullabaloo. Uh, oh my God, keep trying, keep trying, you'll get it. <laughs> now, now, the, now it's getting weird. <laughs> before the hubba hubba. <laughs> I have a list of before. <laughs> before that turns topsy turvy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I kind of got there. Um, Matthew Plummer tipped you 10 bucks and said, Paul, I'm a little jealous you got to moon that train. <laughs> uh, Ron Gould, five bucks. Uh, where are you on rabble rousing and no good n nicking? <laughs> no good nicking. <laughs> Rachel, you're my favorite person of all. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God, I just want people to keep tipping, but putting complicated words in there so Rachel can have a really bad day. <laughs> this is a normal day. Welcome to the show, Chris. That's all first. Uh, people just wait. Oh, that's a better mustache. I like that one. Thank you for in the break. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we also had Dana tip 10 bucks. Paul, you're awfully... <laughs> God damn it. Persnickety. Hey. <laughs> yeah, good job. Oh. I came the landing. Uh, uh, Kim Stewart, 10 bucks. Great set. I got that one. <laughs> uh, Dizzy by Nature, $5. Racist onions is spot on. Well done. Okay. Cindy Wood, 10 bucks. Nice set. Uh, Zara Bending, five bucks. Uh, Paul, racism sommelier is the job description I never knew I needed in my life. Come to Australia, you'll have ample material and plenty of tomfoolery. Uh, Rachel is pronounced uh, smaller. <laughs> smaller. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a great way to Somalia. encourage them. It's it's Somalia. It's a country. It's it's war torn. But by the way, Rachel, all these all these words that you're mispronouncing uh, were in the decade that I wasn't allowed to drink at the same water fountain as you. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's why they're so funny to say. I mean, Somalia is kind of a more modern one, but yeah. <laughs> yes. We also had Chris LaBelle, uh, two bucks. Paul, at all costs, avoid kerfu kerfuffles. Kerfuffles. <laughs> 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 it's a brouhaha, pots its head in. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for who, who did this one? I don't know who did this one. For Paul, apparently, I think it's Courtney. For Paul, apparently, I'm highly suggestible to signs when tipping. <laughs> nice. uh, Marion White, 10 bucks. I love the racism, uh, Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you just made her say, I love the racism in Somalia. That's not a good thing to say. <laughs> I think racism is what, is what called, caused Somalia, honestly, so it works out. Uh, Lindsey Brown tipped uh, 10 bucks and said, Paul, for your next onion-free takeout. Thank you for the laughs. <laughs> it's hard to get onions out of an enchilada, by the way. That's a hard thing to pick. Like, you can get onions off a burger pretty – an enchilada, they're in there. you got to really – go forking crazy to get out of there you got to go double dare style on that bastard <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> we also had kate tip you 10 bucks and said for paul to show some brown <laughs> oh, yeah. go back to the uh, wordplay okay thank you. <laughs> i think we're caught up uh, you All don't right. have any more hebrew tips thank god no <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't make me do my Torah portion. I'll do it. <laughs> Hebrew tips just sounds like a, 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 a section of the paper. Like it sounds like a like a column that Steve would write in a local newspaper in Texas. Hebrew. No, tips. it is it is the discarded remnants from a moil. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, or the oh. or the last section of the Hebrew National Hot Dog Factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen Key tipped you ten dollars and said balderdash and chicanery. <laughs> Fairly close. Chicanery. Um Balderdash and Chicanery. <laughs> mustache is perfect for it. Uh we wanna play the game? We play oh, the game? Hold on. Let me let me catch up. There's a little bit more. Um so we also had uh Z Bunster uh, tip and said that's just super fragile the sick X Vialidocious. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm sorry, it. Wow. did you say super callous fragile racist not <laughs> former POTUS? No, I didn't. <laughs> uh Zara also tipped a couple bucks and said Hakuna Matatas. But um <laughs> Damn it, Kristen, I can't stop. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Kuna Matatas. Kuna Matatas. <laughs> I'm pickle free. I see breasts, I go. <laughs> that is so offensive. Thank you. <laughs> Why has Ben forgotten all the songs? I don't know. Wait till the game, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, two more entries, because uh, I know. It's not a two more. 
<laughs> more. Brett, uh, Brett Steinbuck, uh, Kristen Key, we love you. Zara, uh, Kristen, you're double D lightful, still humming that song Aww. in my head. Nice. I've been singing it all weekend long. Like my wife has been like, what are you singing? I'm like, something shipped on my upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you. All right, let's do the game. Let's play the game. So the game today is Thanksgiving a song. Uh, front row, if you guys want to play um, live on air, raise the hands. And then these are the unpaid entries that I really liked. So Leslie Spaulding had pour some gravy on me. Nice. nice. <laughs> uh, Greg Murphy, I am the walrus. Oh, well, <laughs> that's and sweet. Andrew Kerr, all we are saying is give peas a chance. <laughs> nice. nice. Okay, so Chris LaBalls. Yeah. All right, so I have Mr. Brineside. <laughs> <laughs> the base is yet to come. <laughs> Nice. Call me gravy. <laughs> Two sung entries. When a yam loves a woman. <laughs> and stuffing you is easy because you're beautiful. <laughs> uh, Zara, go ahead. Hey, babe. Uh, so firstly, uh, stop, drop, and pass the rolls. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, racks on racks in my oven by little pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm all about that base. That that base. <laughs> base. <laughs> I'm done. Nice. Nice. Sean Ehrlich. Um, so I have a uh, have yourself a merry little Thanksgiving. Um, Let's see what you did there. It's beginning to look a lot like Thanksgiving. Uh, rock around the thanksgiving tree i don't think that one works <laughs> um and all i want for thanksgiving is you nice. nice um shannon burke uh can you hear me yep okay i had to switch to my phone sweet potato pie <laughs> um, 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 um take the last train of cornbread <laughs> and last one you belong among the cauliflower <laughs> that's it nice. uh, snack lover all right so i have two one the second one i think ben might like but so the first one is burn it by turkey grills and riot 10 <laughs> and the next one is going to be <clears throat> the bloodhound gang with the roof is on fire as is the rest of the house because they were trying to cook a turkey in the house while watching Chasey Lane <laughs> Foxtrot uniform Charlie Kilo and do the bad touch but now just seem to mope around the outside of the burning house but along comes Mary to make it all better oh my God. I feel like that's more than one so <laughs> uh, yeah Ben just had an orgasm alright <laughs> thanks Just. Hey, I've got a, do you think I'm sexy after my fifth helping? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got to get up, stand up, lay back down. <laughs> and uh, turducken the police. Um, That's, oh my God. <laughs> and because uh, I get high. Because I get high before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Courtney Smith. That was the best one. Uh, I have the Simon and Garfunkel classic, The Sound of Silence at the Table, because Grandpa is a trumper and we don't want to get into that fight again. From Akadaka, Hunger Suck. The. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the Queen song, Bohemian Kling Rhapsody. Uh, <laughs> Kling Rap! <laughs> uh, Adele singing uh, Casseroling in the Deep. Casseroling in the Deep. Um, <laughs> and John Legend, All of Rue is All Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> and here's somebody who does not like casserole responding in Adele fashion. Hell no! <laughs> uh, Bill Thompson. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, it's all coming back to me now. I should have cooked the turkey longer. <laughs> oh. uh, Kira? I just have one. I will survive by the pardoned turkeys. Nice. <laughs> Anyone else in our front row just wave at me if I miss yeah. you? Uh, Frankie Angles? Yeah, okay. Um, I have the Pink Floyd classic, um, Comfortably Rum Cake. Nice. Uh, Celine Dion, um, All Pie Myself. <laughs> um, ACDC, um, um, or remade by the Slow Cookers, um, Cook Me All Night Long. Nice. And Sir Mix-a-Lot, the classic, um, Pastries and Snacks. <laughs> like All big right, buns the... and i cannot lie <laughs> the rest of the entries um so this is a bit of a rap one that uh greg murphy put together called the pilgrim gravy may i have your attention please may i have your attention please will the pilgrim gravy please stand up i repeat will the pilgrim oh. gravy please stand up we're gonna have a problem here y'all act like you've never seen white turkey meat biscuits made of wheat, like ham <laughs> the oven just out of the heat and started mashing the spuds worse than before gravy made from pilgrims pouring more and more word to squanto queen r out how did you not close on that gone over this i'm really good at rapping but not I saying anything specifically else. but yes yeah but well i'm just done. saying close on that oh, that's yeah. the closer oh that's fine uh jeremy day had feast of burden nice <laughs> Jeremy Day, baby, you can drive my carve. <laughs> Jeremy Day, harvest of what's around. <laughs> um, Amina Sala, making love out of stuffing at all. <laughs> Amina Sala, WAP, you're plucking with this wet ass poultry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Z Bunster had a game entry. I eat roast bird, then I throw up again. <laughs> uh, Lilith had do, do harm. Do harm? Amina Sala. Ham. Yeah. It's am. You think that's pronounced What did I say? I said ham. I just want, hey, can I have a ham sandwich, please? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel just pronounced mm. that the way that Ben's Karen character would have. Did you Ben pronounce ham? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was thinking of do hops and then I said it. <laughs> it makes sense. Wait, Rachel, you can't. Pr Rachel, you can't pronounce Hebrew or the opposite of Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's definitely not kosher, Rach. All right, what else? I feel like it's discrimination that Jews won't eat harm. Uh, Amina Sala, come what Mayflower. Nice. Chris Jacobs, I'm going off the rails on a gravy train. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria Scatterregio. Uh, sweet potato pie. <laughs> and then <laughs> she also had all, all Scatter Scatterregio? Yeah, she's doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it right. Uh, she said, all you need is stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, FJB, living on a prayer that the Native Americans don't kill us this year. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 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 I think it was the other oh, way around. Oh, it's vintage. It's vintage for uh, that's like from the first Thanksgiving. Um, FJB, 50 ways to eat your lover. Oh. <laughs> Someone's been <laughs> fucking a turkey. In that. Yeah, someone fucked their turkey and then. Okay, that's... Not okay, that's not how you put the stuffing in, guys. <laughs> well, it's not ideal, but it, in a pin. <laughs> but in a pin. Uh, Shannon Savage. That is why Emerald started saying, bam! <laughs> Oh. Shannon Savage, little red giblet. <laughs> giblet. 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 <laughs> giblet. 
Uh, Shannon Savage, 525,600 minutes until we have to do this shit again. <laughs> it's Shannon Savage. <laughs> uh, Savannah Martin, blank space at the dinner table because I'm not going to home during a pandemic. Nice. <laughs> and then that's all of them. All, all right. right. Let's vote. <laughs> Pretty quick. And we do have eight minutes. Let's do this fast. Uh, I'm going with, it's all coming back to me. I should have cooked the turkey longer. I like that one. Paul, what was your favorite? Uh, I like the one where she mispronounced ham. Just for if she could learn. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm submitting the Leonard Skinner classic, Gluten-Free Bird. <laughs> nice. Kristen. Uh, um, I liked favorite. making love out of stuffing at all. That was my favorite. <laughs> nice. Rach. Uh, I liked, I'm going off the rails on a gravy train. All right, Ben. I liked Castle Rolling in the Deep. <laughs> All right, that was good. Steve. All right, it is anybody's ball game. It's completely a tie. And just because of how funny it was to hear the word hom, I'm voting for do hom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Congratulations, Lilith. Lilith, you win. Claim your prize at sdscshow.com. Shoot us an email. Claim your prize. Very cool. Um, Kristen, Kristen, do you have any? I did. I had uh, running with the deviled eggs. Nice. Um, nice. Uh, the little old gravy from Pasadena. And uh, <laughs> I, I've had the pie of my life. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, Paul, uh, you have any, the, the gluten-free was yours? Or, that's, right? all, that's all I got. I think. got? Cool. I don't have any rates. You got any? I got three. All right. I've got all apologies because I ate the entire pumpkin pie on the drive over. <laughs> <laughs> And then wake me up before you go go because I'm passing out because the tryptophan, right? Nice. <laughs> and then you spilled cranberry sauce and I got it all over my neck, my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Change the sign. Nice. Right. Nice. <laughs> you got any? Uh, I only did one. Uh, I just did. I just did one, which is uh, for most people's family Thanksgiving. Uh, bad mood rising. <laughs> nice. And I've got a bunch. I will speed through them. We've got all you need is Zoom. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Nice. <laughs> what a fun germ filled world. <laughs> Johnny, be good. Don't kill your parents. <laughs> <laughs> smells like teen spirit. My nieces are very annoying. <laughs> you really coughed me. <laughs> yes, Turkey Day. <laughs> I want to hold your hand, but I can't, or I'll die. <laughs> no warm meat, no cry. <laughs> Sitting on the dock of the bay is that far enough, Grandma? Someone, please pass the cranberry. Rachel We're spilled it. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. Oh my God. <laughs> Blowing in the wind, the aerosol song. <laughs> and the last two, here comes the sun. Because he stayed home for Thanksgiving and he's bored, so what else is he going to do? <laughs> oh my God. And don't let the sun go down on me, not because I don't want him to, it's just he can't do it with a mask on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Happy Thanksgiving, oh, oh. everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Ben, you know what? Ben, you know. I don't I don't pardon any of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. So we gotta get Here we go, Lady. Awesome. So the first one I have is, hmm, this smells like September 2001. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, gang, 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 gang. Happy Thanksgiving, guilt receiving day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have, please, a woman. <laughs> 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 this is SDSC. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm not going to be a plumber. <laughs> so misunderstood. <laughs> you just know she's oh, gonna grow up and try to be a poet or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bowers looks like a turkey. Wow. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Steve, that man's you. 
<laughs> They're a real group. They play songs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I think what it looked like. I understand. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> and then my very last one. Best facial hair in this areola. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Does me inside a titty. You <laughs> the nipple, are Kristen. My... Is that what you yeah. really wanted? I'm the pink tip. Yeah. Hey. Katie, can you All put right. up the please a woman one again? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me just find it. Okay. That's yeah. not oh, wait. That nope. Wrong one. Where's please a woman? There we go. It's not All a right. Picture. Now, could you put a comma after the word please? <laughs> please uh, woman please. tell me have you ever really 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 ever please <laughs> you can put a question right. mark after woman yeah please a woman <laughs> i thought it was i was just having ben ask for one i just would like a woman any woman please <laughs> <laughs> I've I've made a tear coming down his cheek. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, he killed somebody in prison. Killed somebody. Yep. <laughs> the reason we have to make sure we end on time yep. is uh, Taylor does have to get out of here, and without Ooh. his without his feet, we cannot broadcast. So. Exactly. So, Paul, where do we find you at? Plug your stuff for me, buddy. On Twitter, Paul Bargis. On Facebook, Paul and Oates. Very cool. <laughs> we'll see you next time, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Kristen. Oh, yeah. Um, um, I got a podcast. It's called Kristen Knows Blank. Look it up. Find it. Subscribe to it. Listen to it. And you can find all my stuff at uh, KristenKey.com. Very cool. We'll Excellent. see you next time. Appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me at Bowers Comedy. Ben, what you got coming up? This Saturday night, Greg Proops and I improvise it all based on your suggestions. We all hang. It's a great time. Get high. Get drunk with the Proop Master and I. It's a G thing. Nowhere Comedy Club. Very cool. Steve. I got a show at Nowhere Comedy Club in 45 minutes. Very cool. I've got some tips to catch up on. Box so we've got up. Lilith tipped Paul 30 bucks for dominance over the evil onion. Uh, <laughs> and then Jess tipped uh, Paul $100 and said, I love Kristen, but I'm spreading this love to Paul. Come back. No one should have to follow Kristen uh, and all her super fans. <laughs> nice. We had... well, it's an hour and 45 minutes. I think I got the time zone wrong. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Technics tip the show for Rachel, Super Fecalifragilisex, we get a dosha. And then I'm going to solve <laughs> Hippotonomonoquanabolophobia. It's a long word. Uh, Cass Civil. I'm going to Cass Civil just to make Rachel say her moan. And then <laughs> yeah. Jerry had a late entry, hip to be squanto. Nice. Nice. Shut up. All right. Well, audience, we will see you on Friday. Happy Turkey Day, everybody. Uh, stay gobble, home, gobble. be safe. Gobble, gobble. We love you. Uh, Rach, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Just uh, be safe, and I love everybody, and eat a lot, but not too much, you know? Like, okay, goodbye. All right. <laughs> that is me. I'll see you guys Friday. Happy Turkey Day. Taylor, good luck with whatever you got going on. We're glad we got you out of here in time. See you. All right, happy Turkey Day, everybody. We're taking uh, we're taking the day off because it's Thanksgiving, and also we don't do shows on Thursdays. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. This show is adjourned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>